Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim and Assalamu alaikum. Today we are here with a new topic, with new analysis. The topic for today is the novel Things Fall Apart by Chinwa Akebe. What what we are going to discuss today is that whether this novel presents a colonial narrative or a post-colonial narrative, or it can simply be put as whether this novel is a post-colonial novel or not. <clears throat> Sorry. Now, before going to discuss what is the crux of this novel and how this novel is a colonial or post-colonial novel, <clears throat> we need to understand what is a colonial narrative and what is a post-colonial narrative. Now, a colonial narrative is simply a narrative that has been portrayed or that is in the vogue from the colonial masters or from the European people. Like what they do, whenever they want to colonize a nation, they present literature and through that piece of literature that could be print media, electronic media or anything, through that literature, they portray the target nation and the target people to be savage uh, as others, neglected people, people have, those people have no knowledge, nothing of enlightenment basically wo log jo hain jis mulk ya jis state pe ye log kabza karna chahte hain ya colony colony banana chahte hain uske bare mein inka khayal ya perception log ka ye banate hain ki wo colony is a very deprived colony because the people over there are not educated people they are not civil uh, civilized people and they are in the darkness of their life so they paved the way through this this basically is a colonial narrative. Now they make the mind of uh, the people who are living in their nation as well as those people who are living in that target nation. Now through this colonial narrative, they pave the way. They even make the minds of different people living in the surroundings or in the neighboring countries of that uh, target country. In this way they go there and they... <clears throat> and they uh, uh, they colonize the country. Now this is what we understand from a colonial narrative in simple terms. You can read different books for that and you can get very different ideas for colonial narrative. Now the question that really pinches is what is a post-colonial narrative? Many of us think that a post-colonial narrative is a narrative which is presented by the natives of that colony after the colonial masters are gone. Our basically zehn mein khayal ye hota hai कि हम जो पोस्ट कॉलोनियल नैरेटिव की डेफिनेशन करते हैं उसको हम ऐसे डिफाइन करते हैं कि जब जब कॉलोनाइजर खुद उस कॉलोनी को छोड़ के जाते हैं या किसी और वजह से जाते हैं तो तब जो नेटिव या इंडिजिनस नेटिव पीपल हैं वो जो लिखते हैं वो जो बयान करते हैं वो जो रेजिस्टेंस की वॉइसेस बनाते हैं वो पोस्ट कॉलोनियल नैरेटिव है बट दिस इज नॉट वैलिड वाई बिकॉज द डे Anybody who is in the colony raises a voice against a colonizer, whether the colonizers are in the colony or not, a post-coloniality or a post-colonial narrative starts. जैसे कि मैं आपको एक छोटी सी मिसाल दे देता हूँ जब एशिया में सब कॉन्टिनेंट में जब अंग्रेज आए तो 1947 के बाद लोग कहते हैं पोस्ट कलोनियल एरा स्टार्ट हो जब वो लोग चले गए बट दिस इज नॉट वैलिड क्यों क्योंकि 1860s के बाद जब या 1857 में जब उनके खिलाफ एक जंग लड़ी गई जिसे गदर या जंग आज़ादी का नाम दिया जाता है दैट वॉज बेसिकली द स्टार्ट ऑफ अ पोस्ट कलोनियल नैरेटिव वट वॉज दैट इट वॉज जस्ट मेकिंग द पीपल अंडरस्टैंड दैट दे हैव देयर ओन आइडेंटिटी एंड देयर ओन कस्टम एंड रिचुअल एंड दैट इज वेरी मच डिफरेंट टू द कल्चर एंड नैरेटिव ऑफ the colonial master so that is basically a post colonial narrative now uh, coming to the novel how this novel is a post colonial novel or a novel or a colonial novel now chinwa akebe is trying to define he is trying to justify and he is trying to tell us that the igbu society was very much sufficient society a self sufficient society they had their own way of life they had their own language they had their own religion they had their own traditions what the masters or the colonial masters did they came to this land 
they disturbed the fabric of the society they started and trying to replace the religion now religion is the key point in any colony or in any colonial mission why because uh, the colonizers had a view that they were very much uh, superior to the uh, those regions where they were going to colonize the uh, nations or the states so they had their superior views now what they did in the uh, in the in that igbo society when they went there they found out the different uh, weaknesses and the weaklings that they found over there were religious issues now uh, the igbo society uh, pre uh, worshipped many gods what they did the colonizers when colonizers came they started preaching the people that their gods were not good the gods of the natives were not good because they were just idols and they could not uh, help them they could not protect them they could not give them food they could not give them life they could not give them happiness slowly and gradually they told the people they addressed the people that the god of christians is a real god god of christians is a, a god that can help them that can uh, meet their needs and everything like that god can give them everything so slowly and gradually uh, the people of the igbo society they turned toward christianity now okonkov is the symbol of the igbo society jis tarah igbo society is novel mein ye bataya gaya hai ki igbo society shuru mein ek bahut achhi society hai slowly and gradually ye collapse kar jati hai basically ye jo hai it has been told from the dimension of okonkov okonkov kon hai okonkov ek ek manly banda hai एक मेस्कुलन बंदा है जिसको नाइन ट्राइब्स जानते हैं जो कि ही इज़ अ वेरी वेलर सॉर्ट ऑफ पर्सन ही इज़ अ वायलेंट पर्सन एंड ही सेम्बलाइज द ट्रू कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मेस्कुलैनिटी इन दैट एफ्रीकन रीजन स्लोली एंड ग्रेजुअली ही इज नॉट एक्सेप्टिंग द वेज ऑफ लाइफ ऑफ द कलोनियल मास्टर्स ही इज अनेबल टू गेट एडजस्टेड टू दैट लाइफ और फिर वो आहिस्ता आहिस्ता इसका उसका कलेप्स शुरू हो जाता है same is the case with the igbo society in the start they 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 try to resist the colonial masters but slowly and gradually they go uh, like they go and uh, go down into the christian beliefs and rituals and slowly and gradually uh, the igbo society collapses now what is the basic uh, this literally tells us ke uh, this novel is a post colonial novel why it is a post colonial novel because chinwa akebe is trying to tell us that igbo society was very much good the colonial masters came they murdered people they slaughtered people they had spilled the blood of so many innocent people they destroyed the religious beliefs of the people they destroyed the economic and everything of that society so basically he is trying to raise a voice that the 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 colonial narrative or the colonizers or the arrival of the colonizers was not very much good for the people they were basically uh, uh, like hectic for the people in a in a in a way that they came and they disturbed everything so this is how we come to a conclusion that this is a post colonial narrative or this novel presents a post colonial narrative why because this novel is a no, in a novel of resistance this novel shows us that uh, the, the the arrival of the uh, um, sorry uh, arrival of the britishers or uh, arrival of the europeans was not very much good for the society though they came for their own benefits but uh, like extracting their own benefits from the natives destroyed the natives so ye jo chinwa akebe hai wo sahab bhi yahi kehte hain ki ye jo यूरोपियन मास्टर्स आते हैं या यूरोपियन सेटलर्स आते हैं इनकी अराइवल जो है वो बिल्कुल डिस्ट्रॉय कर देती है सोसाइटी को और इसकी मिसाल हम लोग ओकॉनकोफ से ले लेते हैं कि ओकॉनकोफ इन द स्टार्ट ऑफ द नावल कहाँ खड़ा होता है और इन द एंड ऑफ द नावल जब वो लाइक खुदकुशी करता है या सुइसाइड करता है सो वो फिर कहाँ होता है उसकी मेंटल स्टेट कहाँ होती है एंड दिस इज बेसिकली द सेम्बल और दिस इज बेसिकली द ट्रू पिक्चर ऑफ इगबू सोसाइटी कि वो इगबू सोसाइटी पहले कहाँ पर थी जहाँ पर रिचुअल्स होते थे जहाँ पर सब हंसी खुशी रहते थे दो जंगे भी होती थी लेकिन देवर हैवी देवर हैप्पी विद द लाइफ देवर हैप्पी विद द वे थिंग्स वर गोइंग ऑन बट जैसे जैसे अराइवल होती गई सेटलर्स की 
slowly wo jo society hai wo collapse hoti gayi and the end there is no identity of the igbo society there is no uh, cultural view of the igbo society why because everything got converted into christian beliefs everything got converted into so many new things that they slowly uh, forgot their own identity their own culture aur fir igbo society ka naam o nishan wo uh, culturalistic view वो आइडेंटिटी व्यू या वो रिचुअलिस्टिक व्यू में नहीं होता बल्कि दे आर बिलीव टू बी द फॉलोवर्स ऑफ ब्रिटिशर्स दे आर बिलीव टू बी द फॉलोवर्स ऑफ द यूरोपियन सेटलर्स क्यों क्योंकि उन्हें बता दिया जाता है कि दैट यूरोपियन कल्चर इज वेरी मच सपीरियर वो यूरोपियन कल्चर जो है वो उनके लिए अच्छा है एंड इफ दे फॉलो दे विल हैव अ गुड व्यू सो इसी तरह स्लोली ग्रेजुअली हमें बता दिया बता दिया जाता है कि नावल इज अ नावल ऑफ post colonial resistance this novel is a novel of resistance of post colonial narrative this is the crux of the novel we can have so many other dimensions to this novel jo ki hum aista aista inshallah discuss karte rahenge if there is any question you can ask in the comment box thank you very much allah hafiz